Friday, October the 25th. How is your max out week going? Well, it's not over yet. We have one more to do, and I think this is probably one if I had to guess that a lot of people have been looking forward to. And that is because with deadlifts and with strict presses, we got better and stronger at those two movements by deadlifting and strict pressing. For back squats, which is what we're doing today, we have gotten better at it through back squats, but through you know the gimmick of tempo. And I, I call it a gimmick sort of tongue in cheek because those of you guys who are sort of in the fitness know, know that tempo is great for this kind of thing. So, you know, we saw a lot of red on the board on Monday, a lot of red on the board on Wednesday. I not, you know, I would not necessarily have said I was expecting it on those two days. I'm always proud of you guys and I'm always, you know, expecting big things and feelings of success when you leave the gym, but PRs don't necessarily need to be a part of that definition. And yet, that board's full of red. I would have expected to see it today because, uh, you know, the last time we did something slightly different was dead stop deadlifts and we saw pretty much unanimous PRs that cycle. This should be very similar to that. Again, I hate putting pressure on people. Uh, I just want you to feel like you got stronger and if you already feel like, hey, I feel stronger already. My legs, hey, I needed to buy a new pair of pants or I, I needed to buy a new pair of shorts for you gentlemen that accommodate my huge legs, then that's the highest compliment we can get. Uh, you know, even probably for me higher than saying you hit a new PR. All right, because I think strength, with strength comes confidence and I don't necessarily think that one number is uh, is ever going to be, you know, the, the pure depth, the purest definition of strength. That being said, good luck today. I hope it works out. I hope to see some more red on the board. All right, wad today uh, again, kind of a little bit of a finisher. Um, easy, you know, the, beyond the whiteboard posting, the format of it makes it seem longer than it really is. Uh, Bara and I have not tested this one yet, but we feel like the twenty minute, the twenty minute time cap today should be well more than enough. Here's what it is. This is the best way to think of it. It's 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, snatch, power snatch. Hopefully touch and go. But after each round of power snatch, you will do a round of Cindy. That's, that's it. Um, a round of Cindy, if you're not familiar, consists of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. That's what Cindy is. Now, or a round of Cindy. A full Cindy is a 20 minute AMRAP of that. And it was uh, just so happened to be that last Friday, Nancy asked me, hey, when are we gonna do Cindy again? I love that one. Uh, this is as close as a, hopefully a little bit of a compromise for you, Nancy. Uh, we're getting close to it. We're getting close to it today. So 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, power snatch. The snatch is the star of the show today. Uh, certainly push-ups are gonna challenge us and pull-ups will challenge us, but these are volumes that are low enough, five rounds of those each, that I don't think we're really gonna get too bogged down by it. We have a tendency, the week or two before a new cycle starts, to sort of uh, subtly highlight what is coming down the pipe next cycle, and we've done that this week with clean and jerks on Tuesday, we're doing it again with snatches today. You know, next, next cycle will be an ollie cycle, so, uh, not next week, but the following week, we will do more of this snatch type thing. But here we have it today. What we expect for you to do with the snatch today, we're not going to set a a defi well defined no heavier than weight because everybody's kind of across the board on snatch, or uh, everybody's a little uh, very varied. There's a there's a wide standard deviation. We want you to choose a weight where you think you might stand a chance of going unbroken, touch and go at the at that weight. And for some people, that's going to be like not much more heavier than an empty barbell, and others, it's going to be like 135 to 155. You know, challenge yourself to the extent that you know that a you're going to have a good chance of going unbroken or touch and go, but also you're going to finish under the cap, like. It's great if you can do a really heavyweight touch and go uh, for like 10 snatches, but if that's going to ruin your round of Cindy, then is it really worth it? The answer is no. Uh, I haven't done this one yet, but I will. And when I do, I'll, I'll use 115 on the, on the snatch. I'm also considering doing uh, strict pull-ups because 
that's a really doable per round basis of strip pull-ups for me where I can go unbroken. And so I wouldn't, um, you know, I wouldn't rule out others choosing to do the same thing. So um, I will say this just for, this is, this is Coach Tim talking, not anybody else. Saturday, the EWOD will have a little bit of uh, break gymnastics in it. So if you wanted to protect your hands, uh, this, this little optional finisher on Friday would be a good time to start doing it. All right, enjoy.